What's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. So one question we get all the time is women, they want to wear their yoga pants, their workout attire, and guess what? They don't want to wear a belt and holster. So they always say, well, I'm just going to put it in my purse. So I'm going to show you how to carry in your purse. I'm not gonna tell you how to carry in your purse because I tell everyone I love and care about and all my students that it's a terrible idea and I'm gonna tell you why and I'm also gonna tell you different ways that you can carry on body safely. Now before all the trolls come out and get angry, listen, it's a free country, you can do whatever you wanna do. I'm just gonna tell you why I don't think it's safe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to tell you to check out our video on uh, why you should not carry off body. And what you're going to see in this video is that it's a completely unfair and unrealistic example of someone carrying in their purse and how it doesn't even work, even in the best situation. In the video, I'm standing 21 feet apart from Neil and he runs at me. He says, go, and he runs at me. So what's unfair about this situation is that I'm given the fact that I'm going to receive serious bodily harm or death. So I'm able to draw and well, at least try to draw and shoot. In real life, that's not gonna happen. You're gonna have to make decisions quickly. So there's no way you're gonna have that much time to make that decision. Even in this perfect situation, I was not able to get my gun out all the times we tried. And let's be realistic, guys. There's not gonna be a bad guy who's gonna say, hey, get your stuff together, I'm coming for you. They're already gonna be in your space. After we did that video and we said, well, that wasn't a real concealed carry purse. So guess what I went out and bought? a real concealed carry purse with the pocket and everything. So when it's springtime, right now there's like a foot of snow outside, so I'm not going outside to run and do this. Um, we'll redo that drill with this concealed carry purse, so stay tuned. And another thing the trolls are gonna say is I'm some super ninja and I walk around with my hand in the purse all the time, which is a lie, don't tell me that. And second of all, bad guys are, are looking for crimes of opportunity. So they're gonna wait till the day that your kid was sick all night, your dog just died, you had a breakup with your boyfriend, and you're not paying attention, and you don't have your hand in your purse. Or my favorite one, I do it when I'm in a bad area. Well, there's no signs to say you're in a bad area and bad things happen all over. So to say that that's gonna happen in a bad area is just ridiculous. Because bad things happen to good people, unfortunately. Number three, you're not gonna be standing still. You're not gonna have someone running up at you and you're just standing there Still as a tree, you're gonna be moving. So now you have someone coming after you, you're trying to run, this bag even as a crossbody is gonna be flinging all over and somehow with stress and you're trying to do anything while you're stressed and you're gonna realize how hard little simple things you can do easily take. How much harder it is, how much longer it takes. Now you gotta undo this zipper, get your gun out, draw, and it's not gonna ever happen. And number four is you're gonna fight. And so let's say my bad guy, Mr. Chucky comes up and he says, Hey, give me your wallet. I'm saying, because I'm carrying on body. So unless he continues to pursue me, everything in my purse I can replace. I don't care. And you know what? I don't care if you're carrying. Who cares? Give him your stuff. You can always replace that. Why would you risk it? Now let's do the same situation. And I'm carrying in my purse. And then Chucky says, Hey, give me your wallet. I'm going to want to fight because I want to keep it because I know it's in here. And guess what? If he takes this, now I just armed a criminal who has all my information because my license is in there as well. And that's a bad day. So now I told you all the bad things and I'm here to tell you that there is good news. You can carry on body safely and there are many different options. I'm gonna go through just a few really quickly, but if you guys wanna see even more, you can check out my playlist. I've reviewed a lot of women's only products. So of course there's the traditional gun belt and holster. I really am a big fan of hybrids. Some people can do that full Kydex where it's that hard plastic on both sides, but I really like hybrids. And they have ones like this one that has a neoprene, it's kind of like a wetsuit. They have also some that have a, a leather back. Um, Crossbreeze makes one. There's also, this one's from Tactica. There's a lot of great ones out there. And you can, uh, like I said, check out my playlist if you want to see some more options like that. I like that because it's the most secure and safe way for me to carry. I like it. I like to carry consistently too. So where I carry on my body, I like to always carry in that way. But if you can't do that, let me show you some other things. And if you can't do the traditional, you know, gun belt and holster, there's also clips. Uh, Oldie Clip makes them. There's also one called Fabric Clip. I haven't tried Fabric Clip yet, but I, I know some people enjoy it. So there are those options. Instead of having to wear a belt, it just connects uh, directly to your pants. So the only thing with these, um, the one quick drawback I will tell you is that they don't do very well with really super thin pants. So if you're gonna wear jeans or 
scrubs or something that's a little bit thicker than like a really thin yoga pant, um, they actually do work well. Then we also have belly bands. So this one's really nice. It's from Crossbreeds. It actually has a built-in Kydex holster. So that's really, really keeps it safe. I feel like I like having that trigger cover, covered and I also like the fact that it stays open. So when I'm um, holstering it, I'm not muzzling myself. Another really affordable and great option is this Comfort Tack. It is by far one of the most comfortable holsters. Um, it's a little bit thick, um, but it is super comfy. And these, um, all these ones I'm showing you so far, they're for men and women. So people who are looking for ideas for when you're working out, great option. The last uh, belly band option is a, kind of like a belly band and a holster head baby. It's from Tactica and it's, it's really cool. The only drawback is that you can only carry appendix style, which is not how I usually like to carry, but it is a cool option. The last thing that came just yesterday and I'm super excited to check out is this like strap. And instead of having a place where you put your gun, you actually use your very own inside the waistband holster with this. So it's a really cool idea. So stay tuned if you wanna know more about this, but I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys found that video helpful. Like I said, I, I didn't have enough time to go through all the different carry options because there's just so much information. So please make sure you check out my playlist and stay tuned because I'm always looking for different carry options and trying to help us ladies out because I know how difficult it is to carry as a woman. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment. I always love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already, subscribe here on YouTube and make sure you click that bell so it says all so you get notified every time we put a video out. We're also on Facebook, on Instagram, we're on Rumble now, so please go check us out. And you can find all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.